a dozen marshmallows. Michael ate a half dozen marshmallows. How many marshmallows did the three boys eat all together? What question do I need to underline? What question do I need to underline, Leo? How many marshmallows did the three boys eat all together? What's something I need to bracket? Braxton, what's something I need to bracket? Ryan and David each ate a dozen marshmallows. Yes, but I need to bracket Ryan and David because they each ate a dozen marshmallows. Daniela, what else do I need to bracket? His name is Michael. Eight, half a dozen. Dylan, how many is in a dozen? Twelve. So Ryan ate twelve. David ate twelve. But Michael ate half a dozen. Kira, how many did Michael eat? How many is half a dozen? Six. Thank you. So here's your number sentence, and now we're ready to add. Mario, what's two plus two? Two plus two. Plus six. Plus six. Twelve. Four plus six is ten. My zero down here, my small one here, and my circle. Adeline, what's one plus one? Plus one. Three. Good. So over here, we're going to abbreviate marshmallows as M. Excuse me. We're going to abbreviate marshmallows as M. So my number sentence is 12M plus 12M plus 6M equals 30M. That's not safe. You can abbreviate marshmallows in your answer as well as M. Don't worry about spelling out marshmallows. So just write 30M right here. And don't worry about spelling out marshmallows. Number two, write these numbers in order from least to greatest. Melina, which number is smallest? 67, write it, cross it out. Which number would I write next? Abram. One hundred thirty-four. Write it. Cross it out. Lily, what number would I write next? Bless you. One hundred seventy-eight. And Alexa, what number is greatest? Two hundred ninety-one. Number three. Color the thermometer to show forty-four degrees. Remember, we just shaved, so we find forty. We count by two, so we get to 44. 42, 44. I draw my line and I shade in from the bottom up. Okay, stop shaking the table. Evie, just come sit up here. Bring your paper. Number four, we're going to draw a picture to show 251. Eli, how many hundreds left would I draw for 251? One. 251. How many hundreds left would I draw? Two. I would draw two. So notice they give me a pretty big box to draw. How many 10 sticks, Logan, would I draw for 251? Five. Five 10 sticks. Unit cubes, Evie, would I draw for 251? Abram, go sit in the hallway, please. One unit cube. Make sure my unit cube is small. Make sure my unit cube is small. Okay, measure your line segment using inches. How long is that first line segment? Using inches. Sophia, how long is that first line segment on the top? To me, it looks like it's four and a half inches. Am I correct? Four and a half. So make sure you write your fraction half there. Measure your next line segment. How long is your next line segment? Alexa, how long is your next line segment? One and a half. Number six. 
this morning, so we're looking at the clock. What time is it? Leo, what time is it? But I need to know what time it is. Adeline, Dylan. 3.30 a.m. Okay, turn, oh, sorry, there's a sneaker in there. I didn't see it. First things first, we need to put our cent sign down in our answer. A lot of us forgot that on our last written assessment. Okay, 48 cents plus 87 cents. Lily, eight plus seven. 15, my five down here, my small one here, my circle. Four plus eight, Braxton. Plus one? 13. 13, 135 cents. My next one, 53 cents plus 76 cents. Mario, three plus six. Three plus six. Nine. Nine. And five plus seven. Dylan, what's five plus seven? Uh, what are we doing? I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. 12, 129 cents. Turn your paper over. Oh, we didn't do that. Okay, we'll do it next time. Turn your paper over. I'll read 